On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Eric Roman, otherwise known as DJ Empire. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to do some beat matching. Normally, DJs have headphones for this. I'm not going to use any so I can interact with you a little better. Uh, if we come on over here, I've chosen two songs, pretty big name songs, and uh, you could start off just by listening to them. One beat is a certain speed. And we're going to go to the other song, and here's the other one. Now this is what they sound like if they're out of beat. That's pretty on point, but if I throw it off, it sounds like there's a train or a horse galloping throughout your living room or your party. So essentially what you want to do is start with one song and push play. Figure out where that beat is. Okay. And then you want to find your first beat of your bar. A bar is a four count or an eight count, depending on the style of music you're doing. And the way you make the songs keep up with each other is by adjusting your pitch controllers. Some have a higher pitch range than others. And when you get the beat match done right, it should sound like one continuous song, almost like a remix as you're going along with your party. Uh, this can be very complicated and it takes a lot of practice. Right now both songs are on beat perfectly. And you would never guess that there's two different songs playing right now. Uh, as you go along, you listen to one song in your headphones with your cues. And you continue on with your mix by slowly fading out of the first song into the second song. And it should sound something like this. and now you have one song playing. Beat matching can be very important and very detrimental on how your crowd reacts and how your night flows. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this has been DJ Empire. Thank you for watching.